Whoop. Have I been here? Uh, looks like I have. Alright, let's uh, keep going. I guess I had every ability to visit the stag station beforehand, but uh, I just never really went that way, so... Whoops! And this is, yeah, that's where I found the grub before. Yeah, there's that dive attack. They take five slashes even with the, uh, the power up that we have to our nail, the, the drill nail. Whoa! Hello. Was not expecting to fall down here, but I'm already down here, so let's figure out what's going on. Ow. Don't forget your Luma Fly Lantern when exploring this area. Back in the deep nest, actually. And I believe... Actually, yeah. We could have gone here when we were at the deep nest. We just never jumped up here to be able to access it. But the, uh... The mask guy is over here. I don't suppose he has anything for us. Yeah, nothing. Alright. Well, now I know. And now I've shown you. You can access the Queen's Gardens from Deep Nest. Pretty early, too, apparently. Actually, I don't remember if I was jumping up here and was stopped by something, but... There you have it. Queen's Gardens, accessible way earlier than I, you know, made it seem. Plays the music of sitting at a, a bench. Okay, well, uh, there's that's basically all we got for the Queen's Gardens for right now. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna head to. Hmm. Where would I head to? Where does the bottom path lead? That's right, to the fungal waste. Uh. Did I even visit that? I'm trying to remember what that was what was over there. This part of the fungal waste was just That's right. Okay. So, remember those um there was like a triad or like a quartet or something of uh of moss people that uh Actually, let me see if I can pull up the journal, because I remember we investigated one of them. This guy. Uh, listening to, like, some weird skeptic, and then when, when I g actually got there for the first time, they were already overtaken by the corruption. And I think that is what that is. Down here. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to, to check in on now that uh, we haven't been there on this visit to the gardens. So, I'm gonna head there. So, we're back at the... I kept wanting to call it the Dream Stalk, but no, that's a thing from Kirby Triple Deluxe. That is a Whispering Root. We're back at the Whispering Root, and we haven't visited to the right yet, so let's see what this room has in store for us. You can access this because of Eastmas here. Hello there.
The love key. Oh, we got more visitors. Now, that husk right there looks a little bit like... Too long spent together, we became as one. Looks a little bit like a, uh, a citizen of the City of Tears. So, we might, uh... Might go look around the King's Station a little bit to see where that love key might slot in. I don't suppose I can kill this guy. Oh, I can! Hot damn! Alright, well, learn something. Wait, I'm sorry. I saw something right here-ish. Wasn't sure if that was, like, a, a breakable thing or what. Either way, look at these guys. Yeah, remember them? Well, that's, uh, disconcerting, to say the least. Other than that, I think that's finally it for the, the Queen Station for right now. Sorry, not Queen Station, Queen's Gardens. So, uh, now that we have the love key, let's head over to the City of Tears, and we're gonna be investigating around... where was it? Around around here-ish. And, uh, yeah, we'll visit the, the stag station there. Right around here, I'm hearing a noise that's not familiar to me. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it some more, it I do remember there being something here. It's not anything very important, but it's just a neat little... Neat little thing. Wherever Cornifer was, there's this weird mushroom now. But he's not a mushroom. Worms pull bugs into their thrall, till ages pass and kingdoms fall. Caps and shells may fall to dust, but Mr. Mushroom readjusts. And I guess that's that's all he says. Yeah, it's Mr. Mushroom. He's just... there. And yeah, we're very close to the Queen Station, so let's just make our way over there. Excuse me. And I believe we've done everything we can do here at the, the Queen Station. Let's check in on that uh, that one character that's eating mushrooms right around here. Hello. Do you work for the fa the uh, Grim Troop? This place must have been must once have been the, quite the hub built at the border between two lands. That misty drop to one side and those bulbous growths another. Neither place seems particularly welcoming. So while my little treats last, I think I'll stay right here. This little creature looks tasty. I wonder, should I eat it? The others around here were awfully bland. Hmm. So it's a carnivorous bug. That's unfortunate. Now then, let's call upon the man himself, the old stag. And let's head to the King Station. There's actually a little bit more to explore in the King Station now that we have a lot of upgrades. And when I say a little bit, more like one or two things, probably just the one thing. Let's save there. And maybe I'm wrong, actually. I thought there was definitely something else. Other than that one spot to the right. No, I don't need to be here. Nothing? Okay. Well, never mind. We're done at the King Station. That was that was a hard one discovery. Now let's have a look around at these buildings, see if we can find some sort of entrance with a, uh... Like an indication to say, yeah, this is for the love key. And we've already been in this room, we've fought that golden guy there. There's a hot spring here. Use a simple key? Sure.
Songstress Marissa, a voice to ease all burdens and still all troubled minds. Hold on. Wait, is there something there? There is something there. Oh, it's just a journal. Wow, this elevator is going very far. Wonder how much I can get away with in regards to wall jumps. Just a lot of stops on the way there, so best to just go at my own pace. Marissa. Oh. Hello. Rancid egg. Tastes wrong. Hungry. So, did they eat the rancid eggs and they died? Looks that way. Oh, hello. Scrank, you look pretty skinny. Very scrawny. That's the way to be, I reckon. Just look at me. A great big, juicy, fatty, oily, scrumptious bug. No wonder I'm so popular around here. I'll just take your essence then, you're not using it. Looks like they butchered bugs. Or maybe mushrooms? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Either way, yeesh. Gross. And here we are. The Pleasure House. Hello. Welcome to my stage, little one. I am Marissa, songstress of some renown, though given the sorry state of this place, you may find it hard to believe. Huge crowds once flocked to hear me sing, then something changed. The audience, once so enwrapped, began to leave. I continue, continued to sing, yet my voice fell silent upon their ears. Perhaps you'd care to listen to me sing. You'll be the first in an age to hear it. I don't know if there's any reward for sitting around for longer than that, but uh, it, it was nice. Even if it only you, it's a wonderful thing to have an audience again. Not sure if uh, hitting her with a dream nail will uh, will make her disappear forever, but uh, I'm gonna keep exploring just a little bit, just to see if there's like actually a hot spring around here. Nope, oh, yep, there it is. Yeah, let's save the game. And there's a breakable wall, wall right there. Whoop, whoa. We're back in the city. Uh, yeah, we're just right here. Okay. Well, cool. Well, now that I've saved, and uh, just in case something does go awry if I go to attack Marissa, let's go see what the Dream Nail has in store for her. Oh, yep, yep. Just immediate. All right, no big deal. But yeah, that's a that's neat. I don't think I've actually visited the pleasure house before in my own playtime. But now I have, and it's all right. And that one. Yeah, I, was, I figured we were getting close to the end of the the drop. But now then, to return to the issue of the heart key or the love key. Whoops. But yeah, if you couldn't tell, her song was actually just her harmonizing with the theme of the City of Tears. Oh no, a grub, buddy! I'll save you! You're saved! From that oppressive, corrupt guard.
Wow, he was uh, clinging on to nothing. And we've been there. That's what the hysterical lady. I think that actually might be all of uh, all of the houses that I was thinking about. So maybe what I was thinking about for the the love key is not actually in here. Pantera. In times past, I wouldn't have spoken with your likes, but now the rest of my case are wonderfully distantly deceased. If I didn't welcome you, I'd never have anyone to share my happiness with. Well, all right. Um, hmm. I didn't. I don't actually remember where the the love key is used. Then, if it's not here. That's the hot spring. We went in there. Fought that guy up there. By which I mean up there. Uh, went into there. I believe. Went down there. Hmm. Well, okay then. I'm going to stop in at the stag station here. Have a seat. Look at the map. See what else is up. We do need to go to the Kingdom's Edge, and we've already unlocked that little bit there from uh, that hidden spot in this King Station. You're kind of not supposed to know about that, I don't think. So, to make things a little bit more fair, I'm going to head down to the... Uh, tram station down here. Um, I don't know if we're able to do what's at the palace grounds just yet. Wait. Sorry, something just... just clicked in my head. Like, hang on. Between the Deep Nest Royal Waterways and Ancient Basin, there seems to be a lot of unused, like, space. Maybe I'm missing something there. It's not coming to mind, like, as to what I'm missing, but I would not be surprised if I am missing that. Either way, my next stop is going to be the Ancient Basin at the Palace Grounds. Uh, Hidden Station, there it is. Now that we're back at the palace grounds. We may have upgraded our dream nail, but it's nowhere close to being able to interact with that suit of armor yet. Or at least the body inside the suit of armor. We Whoa. Whoop. Ha-ha. There's Cornifer's letter. Now then, let us call the tram and actually use it for once. Inside a tram, you can also take a rest, so you can save your game at any point inside the tram. And if you press the whichever glowing button is available, you'll head in that direction. Now we're at the Kingdom's Edge. The ground looks a little bit deep nasty, and that's already giving me some, uh, some bleh, bleh feelings. Yeah, thanks guys. You're not making it any better. Bees! And a breakable wall. Ooh. Welcome to a side area. The Hive. This is technically part of the Kingdom's Edge still, so even though it had the whole, you know, the the big 
text to say, oh yeah, you're in a new world. Nah, you're technically in the same world as before, just with, uh, with some bees everywhere. Yeah, there's a lot of honey everywhere. It's very, very sticky. Very pollinated, in other words. I hear a rancid egg dispenser. I thought I did, anyway. Eh, maybe I was just hearing things. Where to now? There's more over here. I mean, I was just hearing the thunking of this guy. They're not difficult. They just run away and spit out tiny bees. Oh. Oh. Yeah, those bees will turn into giant drills and will charge you after a little while. This guy, that's the main form of him. Once he pulls back like that, he'll charge you. If he gets stuck in a wall, that's the best possible way of dealing with him. His homing's not great, though, so once he starts charging you, just move up or down or something, and you'll get out of his way. Let me just heal up a little bit. Oh, wait, doy. I passed by it without even acknowledging it, but yeah, there's a, uh, there's a whispering root in this room. I was thinking, like, okay, now that I've got all that essence, I can go back to the, the resting grounds and get that 1,200 essence reward, right? But no, I never actually activated it, so... Oops. In fact, I'm not even confident that this will give me 1,200 essence. It didn't. It's just a tiny whispering root, I guess. 